Oh, Alex has took him on the inside though, for fuck's sake. Alex does uh, dogs, don't you? Love dogs. Yeah, we, well. When we went to Croatia, yeah, well, uh, he was all yes, over dogs. Yes, yeah. Loves uh, a dog. Vizsla. Vizsla. Mm. Yeah, and he, every, everywhere I'm we went, Gary. where there was a I'm dog, Gary. he was uh, messing yeah, with I'm it. Gary. That, um, hunting. You know? See, now look, he's off, look, all doggy Gorgeous. talk. Yeah, it's all mm. doggy mm. chat. Mm. Loves them. He likes leads and chews. Yeah, he loves a dog. Come on, Morning, guys. Going to show you our room. This is our room where we stayed. There's Alexa doing her hair. There's our beds, small headboards. It's nice here. You like it here, Alex? Yeah, it's alright. I'll just show you the bathroom in a minute. I'll just hold your breath. I'll hold my breath. That's that. Right, it's going to get breakfast. Yeah. No, she's gone for the healthy option. Of meat recently. Yeah, it smelled a bit like that in the bathroom. Yeah. But check out the uh, stones behind you. I want that in my kitchen. I've gone for the chocolate. Kids, five year old breakfast, and a coffee and an orange juice. Double check, we got everything. Yeah. <laughs> morning, dude. Morning, dude. Good morning. M morning. Good morning. Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger's yeah. turned up, and he's just about to it's tell me. us. <laughs> he's just about to tell us what we're going to do. Um, you'll hear this twice, but anyway, go on. Right, you ready? Yeah. So. So. Oh, okay. I'll ask you a question. Yeah. Okay. Ready? <laughs> no, unless you just want to go for the. Ooh, I can. I can try it. Okay. Let's try it on my own. And if it doesn't work, you start asking the questions. Okay, cool. Okay. So my name is Francisco. I'm from Pig My Buy. Uh, I'm um, I'm guiding these guys today through the north of Portugal. We are going to visit a museum today, this morning. It's a little bit late because someone has been in his bed till Sorry. ten in the in Sorry. The ten a.m. in the morning. But I think it's fine, we can do the schedule. So maybe a visit in not maybe, we are going to visit the museum and uh, and after we are going to Almeida where is a fortress and take a lunch in there. Wow. Cool. Yeah. It's a fort fortress with an hexagonal form. Yeah. So you can take you can do some drone footage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it would be amazing, I'm sure. Nice. Nice. Uh, the lunch will be calm. Will be not so with Brilliant. so many food. Yeah, it will be quite calm. And in the afternoon we are riding around 140 kilometers. Yeah, I think it's a little bit, but good if it is good weather, and I hope so. We can make it. 
till and we are arriving in Miranda do Douro in Tio Pino House and he's gonna receive us with uh, everything he can do. Cool. Can I, can I ask where we are exactly now? We are in um, Vila Nova de Foscoa. Yep. Uh, so he's in the center of Portugal, uh, in the Guarda region. The, the, the main city of the, this region is called Guarda. Yeah. Uh, and this is a, a small city, Foscoa. It lives from the tourism and the vineyards and the tourism. So this, what we experienced last night, mm -hmm. this is very much. This, is this what they produce? Their own wine and oil. And yeah, they produce their own wine, their their olive oil, and uh, you can see the, the pigeons place where the, we had all the drinks last the, night. All the drinks that last night. I didn't drink anything. I just want to add. <laughs> you were there. So, so it's going to be a good day. We're going to chill. We're going to. I'm ride. sorry about my English again. No, it's nothing perfect. wrong with your it's English. To be recorded it's, no, it's at perfect, all, isn't it? It's yeah, perfect. I'm doing you, my best. You think that there is, but nobody else in the on the planet will <laughs> think there's anything wrong with your English. I'm, le I'm And if learning. they do, they can do one. I'm learning. Oh Jesus! <laughs> I'll let you go in front of me, dude. That's where we were last night, in there, look. That's where all those bottles were that were like 100 years, well, one of them was 100 years old. And the building itself, that little pigeon building, whatever the proper name for that is, is 300 years old. This is a really cool place. I definitely have to save the location of this because uh, I'd like to come back and stay here. You can actually, at this place, I'll find out what it's called. Um, and I'll put the details of it on in the description but you can uh, you can go kayak in there and um, I'm just concentrating on what notes is up to here that's his new name notes um, yeah you can go kayak in there and um, four by four you know off road in apparently so that's pretty cool yeah, I'd definitely like to stay there another time. Really nice place. Right, so now, uh, as uh, Francesco explained, we're now going back to the museum where we were last night, where we had um, dinner in the restaurant. Uh, and I think we're seeing some cave paintings. Um, so yeah, let's check that out. Check this out guys, I think this is uh, oh I thought it was a rubbish collection thing but it's not, it's uh, it's uh, a little train, look, how cool is that? That's like something you see on the seafront at a seaside town like back in the day. Ah right, Francesco just said that this little train in front of us is uh remember in chitty chitty bang bang you got the child catcher and he goes around children i've got lollipops remember that well basically this is one of them and it goes around um enticing um young people into the train and then takes them away into the middle of nowhere uh, they're never to be seen again do you remember that chitty chitty bang bang the child catcher well that that's that's what this is Yeah, he just said it's t it takes people to the museum, basically. No, I'm, ju I'm just telling the viewers, I'm telling the viewers. So that's what that is. I think we've slid into uh, MotoGP mode. Oh, watch all that cack in the road. No, a load of cack. Yeah, Francesco's on it. Oh, Alex has took him on the inside though, for f**k's sake. 
Okay, so we're at the museum. Oh, is that our parking space up there? Check that out. Wow. Look at that. Proper Japanese tourists now, haven't we? We've got these things. <laughs> so basically, basically, if you can see me, we're in a we're in a museum, which is uh, what's this museum about again, dude? I have no idea. Okay, we're not really sure. I walk in here and look what he's done. He's got a picture of himself with a caveman. <laughs> of course he has. <laughs> How do I do it? Do you want to go? You can do it with anything. I want, to, I want, to, I want this sent to me then. Oh yeah, you can. What? Sick. Oh, I could have got it with her. Should we get it with her? Has it sent it to you, is it? Yeah, it just sent me it. Come on, let's go around. Um, no idea. I just clicked that one. <coughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, is it ready? Yeah. That'll do on it. <laughs> <laughs> send it. Yeah, send it. Send it. No, I want it. You'll be. It's basically good. You've got to take a photo. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We haven't we haven't told him it's a little kid that they've done it with. Why did you pick a child, Alan? <laughs> Why did you want a child? We let the year. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Which one's the caveman? <laughs> yeah. Some, somehow, somehow Alex has got reception in here and he's had it emailed to his phone that... Okay, so he's obviously got a, a bit of a trouser snake situation going on. It even looks like a snake. And his mate here 
What's going on there then? What's going on there? Do you reckon he's got a saggy plum issue? I'm not sure if you can see this, guys, but we've got major trouser snake. <laughs> that actually is a trouser snake it's as well, because it's like a head of a snake. Yeah, with a, like even got the, the th marking, th going, the on. going on. So he has literally got a trouser snake. He's calling his dog. He's obviously a dashund. <laughs> and it's a great and he's got a saggy plum situation going on. Ever ready. Pardon? Mr. Ever ready. Yeah. What have we got? Alex has found something. Oh, what have we got here? Hello. Whoa. Really? Yeah. Oh, let me get involved. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool, My isn't it? <laughs> You are dangerous guys. It's really cool. Really cool. It was done with a drone. You can see the shadow sometimes yeah, of yeah. the drone. Really cool. Let me see if we can oh. film it. Mostly with engravings from the upper Paleolithic. Many are now underwater due to the turn. Some of the oldest figures of the site. Oh. Just found this because I live in the countryside. I see this every day of the week anyway, but a, a naked lady riding a cow. Oh, hello. Right. There's a bike then. Yes. What'd you do? No. Oh. Feels very nuclear bunker esque, doesn't it? It's like we've gone on an urbex somewhere and um, found this old abandoned nuclear bunker or something, isn't it? It is. Francesco's just going to say where we're going next. Sorry about the wind. So, next we are going to Almeida, where uh, it's protected by a fortress with an hexagonal form like uh, a star, you know? Yep. An hexagonal must be with eight sides. Uh, no idea, but we all know, yeah. What, yeah, so, we know what you're saying. Uh, we're going to visit the fortress and have a lunch there. Cool! cool. Going to slip the nose bag on in a fortress. Going to slip the nose bag on in a fortress, dude. Of course you can go first. Right, that's the museum of uh, cave painting, etc. Done. Now we're going to go off to the uh, the fortress, as Francesco said, and slip the nose bag on, get some dinner. And this is about an hour. This is about an hour, yeah. About an hour, yeah. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's go. Let's roll. Oh, his bag looks a little bit on the her. Yeah, that was cool. I liked it there. That was nice. Different. Not something you see every day, see? Don't see that in Bristol, Western Supermare. That's what it's all about on the adventure, seeing things. It's a little bit awkward sometimes when you're filming and other people don't, you know, they're, they're um, with you and they've all got to wait for you to change batteries and stuff. But, you know, unfortunately, it's just how it is. Oh, wow. Hole in the road there. Just to let you guys know, um, <clears throat> Francesco is giving me a discount code which I'll link in the description of this series so if any of you guys fancy living the pink dream and uh, coming over to Portugal and and hiring these bikes at the moment they've got four um, so if two of you, four of you, whatever want to come over and do this shizzle there will be a discount code 
I think it will be a 15% discount code, which is pretty cool. And uh, you can come and do this yourself. Like I said yesterday, I think you can just hire the bikes. But to be honest, I think it's I think it's more worth doing a tour because then they'll take you to the you know you can tell they'll tell you or they'll show you the tour. I'm gonna fucking start that again. I can scrap all that and say it again. I think Just gonna f that right up. <laughs> Look at this cock. <laughs> right, Alex has given me a sweet, so this is a bit of a a bit of a challenge. I'll try and get it out of the packet. Can't see me doing this. <laughs> there, got it. <laughs> right now, I've got to get it in my mouth. Right, pull me balaclava out of the way. Yeah, in teamwork. Right up in the distance, there, you can just see there's the tower. I'm guessing it's a tower, well anyway, whatever it is, it's part of the fortress where we're going for food. Uh, manger, oh, I think in Portuguese it might be mangiare, or is that Italian? Who knows, who cares? But anyway, that's where we're going up there, the fortress, probably about five minutes now, until we get there. Right, so here we are. <laughs> what I was pointing to, I think, is a water tower. Well, check this out.
Wow. Had to get a bit of that action, didn't I? Wow, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be, madam. like a whole village type deal Just, I've just made an observation on the menu of um, snails, so I'm going to have snails with a side order of some gizzards. Do you fancy some gizzards, Alex? I'm not thinking what gizzards. Chicken gizzards, the neck, the neck of a chicken. Oh, is that what it is? I thought it was innards. I think a gizzard is the was... neck. Oh. It's quite bony. Why would somebody want to eat that? I've had cows do they? Before. You've had cows what? Tongue before. Oh yeah, no. It's been licking loads of other cows' asses. Try. It. it was weird. <laughs> it's very <laughs> chewy. <laughs> Call it steak. I'm gonna have ham and cheese sandwich. <laughs> Ha 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 